Okay, hi everyone. Welcome back once again to the Life in Pines. To our cones, nuts, needles, beetles, saps. Wild rice. Wild rice. Thanks for dropping in. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so today we are actually at site number one for the squatter's tent platform garden overlook, whatever, yeah. whatever you call it. We haven't figured out a name yet, but uh, we know we're leaning towards squatter's something. Squatter's something. Yeah. And we'll explain that a little bit later. But anyway, so we're here today to get some measurements. I'll let Ted explain what we're doing. Yeah, we had come down here previously. We knew that this was the spot that we wanted to build something. And we did some preliminary measurements by just guesstimation. It looks about like It looks 25 about 25 feet. feet, that <laughs> plenty. Very precise. Very precise, yeah. <laughs> but turns out just doing some actual preliminary measurements and we are that beam that we previously in the last video in the last <laughs> video was 100 percent practice all the way around because it's going to be just a little bit too short so but it's not a big deal we've got plenty of trees a lot of dead ones that need to come down that we can use for the beams that we need in this location yeah so that's what we're doing after we get all these measurements done we've been looking at tents we have an idea of the kind that we want to get and like he said we're going to be cutting down a lot of trees to make the beams and also once we're done with the measuring you can see there's just a lot of just underbrush there's a lot of dead trees over here behind you guys is where the sun rises and right over here is where the sun sets so we just want to make sure that you know you can get a good view of the lake and the sunset without you know sacrificing any privacy you're just like up in the pines back here yeah, up in the pines baby <laughs> yeah so first thing we got to just we're going to set up a mock kind of template of where we want the beams and the yoke to go and then go from there yeah so, so that's, that's what, what we're, we're doing, doing today. <laughs> okay, so while Teddy is back running up to the house to get some things we forgot, I wanted to take you guys over here to this place on our property that we think is kind of cool. So before we moved here, there was a Russian soldier that was squatting on this property. I'm not really sure how many years, but anyway, this has been on our property and we've used a lot of the, the things from it. We used a lot of the siding from it to build the, the tree house for the kids. We took the wood burning stove from it and we put that um, down in our floating sauna. And we've just like kind of been slowly but surely like pulling some different things from it and repurposing them. And so if you are wondering why the heck we called it like the squatters tree house is because it's really close to um, where we have our little tent house site. And so anyway, I just thought that was really cool and just something that the kids have loved coming down and exploring and going through. And there was like all these books and dishes and different things. And it's obviously just a dilapidated mess now, but I just thought that was really cool. And it's just such a, a talking piece that we have right here on our property, so. You want belly rubs? Yeah, I knew you did. <laughs> Okay, so that should be enough to hold everything up. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. That's what you were gonna say? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that enough? No, it's not. we figured it out but you know you want like a bigger deck in the front <laughs> yeah i know what you're thinking but no like a deck so you can get up and get... yeah 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 <laughs> yeah you know get your good stretches out yeah. stretch a mile if you didn't have to walk back so walk back that sucks <laughs> 10 foot 8 so that's not far at all. Mm -mm. That's easy to span, but it's the from there to there that I'm worried about. Forty-five. 
How far are you right at the tab? Yeah. So we gotta extend, go extend beyond like a foot. That's a foot beyond. Yeah. What are you at? Well, to the beat, to the yoke is 30 feet. What? To the yoke is 30 feet. 30 feet. 30 feet. <laughs> I think both Jenna and I are both visual people. Like it takes like a visual prop or a visual thing to really get a bearing on the size and the dimension and all that. So that's what we basically did here. Strung up some string. It's actually electrical <laughs> fence wire. Strung that up to the pretend yoke. And just to get an idea of what these beams are gonna look like and what the span is. The one side was like 32 feet, <laughs> but it also has the potential to add two tabs along the way. Mm -hmm. The other side that doesn't have the option of putting a tab in was about 25 feet, six inches. Six inches short. <laughs> Go get it. Yeah, yeah so I think now what we'll do is now we can just start clearing, just start cleaning up and start a fire. It's really cold and it's starting to snow. It's so, beautiful out. Yeah. We, I just literally looked up and said, thank you, God, because it is, it's so beautiful out right yeah. now. It's just quiet, no wind, dogs chasing, chasing each other around, around yeah. chewing on sticks, you know. Just so serene and tranquil. All right, let's start a fire and let's get some stuff cleaned up. So we got that tree cut down and we got a nice like base fire going for putting some more of the dead brush and dead trees on. So we're just gonna keep going and he's just gonna keep cutting down a lot of the dead brush and get this place cleaned up. Yeah, there's a couple dead trees down that way. They're pretty big though. So I don't know if we'll be able to do anything with them just yet, but at least we'll be able to see a clear shot of what the view from the deck would look like towards the lake. <laughs> Way up there. That's a better view. But anyway, we'll guy we'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. Yep. What was that movie where they like go into the trees? You remember that? Bridge of Terror. Stranger Things? Oh yeah, it was. Yes, it was Stranger Things. That was a good one. <laughs>
Okay, we've got we've got it cleared out. It's hard in the winter to tell what it's going to look like, but we do have one high risk tree right here that is 100% dead. It's a popple tree and it seems like it's caught up on the top on this pine tree here, but I'm going to try to cut this down, get this down and then we'll call it a day, I think. This is going to be a lot of firewood. That's a lot of firewood, if we can get it down. Two beams and a yoke away from something. <laughs> Two beams and a yoke? Two beams and a yoke. Okay, it's getting late and it's getting dark. We're definitely running out of daylight. The snow has just been continuing to fall. It's just been such yeah. a perfect day. We got a lot of work done despite it looking like we didn't get anything yeah. done. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. It um, does. But I'm so it makes me so excited now to see the site like cleared out a little bit and and just having the fire here. We're really just like getting a feel for what it would be like to stay out here. Yeah. And especially on a day like today where it's just so serene and yeah. quiet. Yeah, the snow falling is it's amazing. It's really pretty. We're supposed to get like seven inches. Yeah, we'll see. So yeah, so we are starving though because we haven't eaten anything and yeah. so my coworker matt we bartered some honey for some venison polish and some jerky and uh we've got two left so we're gonna it was just perfect yeah between your arms, i found the light no gift or charm worth needing between your arms. Make do with what you have. Absolutely. Improvise, adapt, and overcome, right? Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> Today was fun. This is way more fun than doing sheetrock. <laughs> <laughs> and demo. And demo. Oh my gosh, it just feels so good. Yeah. Do you trust me? Oh gosh, don't drop it in the ashes. <laughs> Father God, we come to you uh, tonight. We again just thank you for this beautiful day. Bless this food for the goodness of our bodies. Amen. 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 Ooh, CJ's buck knife is sharp. <laughs> Well, it's no shimork, <laughs> but it works. It works just as good. <laughs> mm. These are so good. Mm -hmm. Mm. What would a little campfire snack be without one of Finley's Finley cookies? cookies. <laughs> Seriously, grab those. Yep. Oh, my. They're actually Laura's famous cookies. Ready to go to bed? You were can. Okay, that's so stupid. All right, welcome back. Oh, oh my gosh! The sun sets behind you guys right here, and it rises. Sorry, I said that backwards. Venison, Polish. What? The main thing with starting a fire when you don't have, I don't look at that. When you don't have matches or lighters, is you want to get a good base. Find yourself like a nice stick that's pretty straight, and then you just start. Birch bark is the best place to start. Just 
get it flat on there and you just, just back and forth. It's nice when your hands are cold. It really starts warming up your hands. Before you know it, the friction. Oh, see the friction? Oh, yeah, get the sparks there. Get your birch bark. Find that. <laughs> and you just want to add little sticks at a time. Did all that hard work with that rubbing the sticks together. Get some of this. Don't want to waste that. Here's something else. Oh. Good fire. See? All, all you need is just a good stick, <laughs> some and some tinder, some tinder, a little birch bark. Look at, look how fast that goes. 